Hi, Doug Woody High School. Congratulations on 50 years. Uh, I was uh, a young teacher uh, back in uh, 1975, and that's when I started teaching. Uh, three years, I think, uh, Doug Woody had been made. And I started, uh, uh, I applied to Fernbank Science Center without any kind of education courses at all. And uh, I tried to get into Fernbank. Fernbank said, oh, we don't have physicians, but we need science teachers really bad. And I went and uh, applied uh, and interviewed at Dunwoody High School. And uh, I was blessed that I uh, got the job there at Dunwoody. Uh, the students there were just fantastic. The parents so supportive. And the staff of teachers was uh, just uh, amazing. And I spent over 20 years of my career there at Dunwoody High School. There's so many memories. Um, memories of sports, uh, 1990 when the football team won the state championship, which propelled us as the baseball team to also uh, have a run for the uh, state championship, playing in the state finals uh, that year. Um, some of the things that I can remember uh, that were uh, pretty cool that year it was that uh, uh, we got we beat uh, Osborne. Uh, I can remember going over to Osborne and. Uh, uh, running into that team that had a drum in their dugout. They kept beating the drum and, and doing the Braves chant. And I kind of think that got us all discombobulated a little bit, but uh, we won and finally won two out of three games against Osborne. Uh, I remember going against uh, North Cobb, and uh, uh, I, we, were getting lack, we were getting beat, very lackadaisical. Uh, I remember that uh, and we weren't getting calls behind the plate, and I said, I gotta do something. And I, one of the times that I purposely tried to get thrown out of a baseball game, and I went and argued uh, balls and strikes to the umpire, he let me argue and argue and argue. He never threw me out, but that team came back and beat North Cobb. And so then we advanced to Walton. Uh, and that year that uh, Walton beat us, the first game, 18 to two. And uh, nobody gave us much of a chance at all. We came back and beat Walton twice to, to advance to the state finals to face Evans, who had been uh, state champions the last two years, and they were something like 31 and five that year. And unfortunately, we got beat seven to six and seven to six. The last game we got beat on uh, uh, a uh, the guy stole home on us with two outs in the, in the uh, seventh inning. And uh, but great memories. And, and I can name all the players, uh, but if we did that, we would be here till uh, Dunwoody's anniversary of, of 51 years. And I knew I would be leaving people out. Just know that all of you have a place in my heart that uh, you created great memories and you, uh, you know, I, I, the victories that I have is not because of me, it is because of the players and the athletes that we had at that particular time. And uh, it was great years. Um, some of the other things that I remember that I, it's not athletic uh, really involved uh, I can remember early on, probably about 1976, 77, that a bunch of students came to my apartment. I'd been just recently married uh, for about a year or so, but uh, I remember them coming in and uh, 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 kidnapping me. They actually put a uh, pillowcase over my head. Two big guys, football players, whatever, grabbed me, carried me down the steps of the apartment complex and threw me into the trunk of a car and uh, drove me somewhere. I, I was at least a 15 minute drive to where we went. And I got out and unbelievably, there were a bunch of students there waiting for me to uh, celebrate my birthday. And what was so cool is that they had made this uh, wall of, uh, of uh, canvas and painted it like a wall, like a brick wall. And they all had signed it on the outside and everything. And that was a wonderful memory uh, uh, for, for me. Uh, the other thing I remember, maybe some of you remember, is that uh, in the spring, right around prom, um, we would have a, uh, an assembly, and that was for uh, safety, uh, driver safety especially, drinking and driving, uh, and the hazards of, of all of that. And uh, you might remember the uh, a Grim Reaper uh, walking the halls. That was me. Uh, they would uh, give me a nice big black cape and hood and paint my face white and everything. And of course, part of the program was that I would go through the classrooms and we had uh, come around and I would be pointing a finger at one of the uh, students and they would have to come with me and they would be part of the program afterwards. The best fun though was while you guys were walking through the uh, hallways and I would give you that look or I'd point a figure at you, seeing the students run from me because that was, that was some power right there and I enjoyed that a lot. Um, 
And lastly, I want to talk about your beloved uh, principal. Coach Bass took over for me at the high school, and we had great success uh, in the baseball team, but he took it to a different level. And uh, he's a wonderful coach, a wonderful person, wonderful man, and I know that you all love him, but I have to throw this out to you. Um, there's, uh, there's something that he's deathly afraid of, and I think we ought to make this well known. And uh, uh, he, I'm a biologist, and so I've got to tell you this, and I, I've tried to help him through it, but it hasn't helped him. Coach Bass, Tom Bass, is deathly afraid of frogs. Now, I know you don't believe this, but he probably had an uh, offer to play for Texas Christian University, TCU. But of course he had to deny it because they're the horn frogs and he could have never done that. Tom, thank you for this opportunity. I wish I could be there with everybody celebrating this 50th anniversary. Um, and I've been, I was down in Atlanta just recently. I've got to go back down again in December and I just couldn't make it this particular time uh, to make it down there. So thank you, congratulations to everybody. Everybody have a great celebration and go Wildcats.